tremendous work over the past decades in financing and supporting uh, the acceleration of the energy transition. Since our inception uh, at Masdar in 2006, uh, we have been a pioneer in advancing the clean energy sector and a key enabler of our nation's vision, the United Arab Emirates, as a global leader in sustainability and climate action. But of course, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today it's all about Africa. Uh, during uh, yesterday's keynote, address. We've heard His Excellency Dr. Sultan bin Ahmed Al-Jaber, the chairman of Mazdar, president-designate of COP28, announcing a $4.5 billion UE finance initiative, <clears throat> bringing together public, private, and development capital, and calling for Africa's leaders to set out clear long-term plans, as well as policy and regulatory framework to unlock the commercial possibility of this transition. Part of this finance initiative includes us, Mazdar. We have committed to mobilize $10 billion by 2030 for clean energy projects in the continent of Africa. I would like to take you through some of these details and the initiative that we have that was launched yesterday by Dr. Sultan. Everybody knows that the energy transition can transform Africa economic prospects and unleash this great continent, clean energy potential. At Mazdar, we have understood that since the beginning. And we have committed to this great continent since the beginning. We have already deployed $2 billion and committed to invest in Africa. And we are doubling down on that commitment with $2 billion of equity to go towards renewable energy project across Africa. Overall, this means that Mazdar will be mobilizing $10 billion of investment to accelerate a, tor a target capacity of 10,000 megawatt or 10 gigawatt of clean energy projects by 2030. As I mentioned, Africa is a key strategic market for Mazdar, and we are proud of our long-term partnership and project, which we have enabled Mazdar or enabled Mazdar through its Africa platform, Infinity Power, whose chairman is sitting also here, and you will hear from him. Some examples of our ongoing portfolio that is operational, which is very important, 1.3 gigawatt of renewable energy that is operational across Africa today, done through Mazdar and it is companies through Infinity Power, such as Senegal's first utility scale wind farm under Mazdar Infinity Platform, the first solar park in Mauritania, in Nawakshot, and the largest one developed and funded by Abu Dhabi Fund for Development. And of course, across Africa, 650 megawatt in South Africa operational today, and currently we have a total pipeline of not less than 10 gigawatt, 10,000 megawatt of renewable energy across different countries in Africa. Looking to our future, I would like to highlight that our target remains 100 gigawatt by 2030 and 1 million tons of green hydrogen by 2030. One thing is clear, ladies and gentlemen, to make a meaningful impact on the energy transition in Africa, in our country, the United Arab Emirates, and across the world, the public, the private sector, must work together to unlock climate finance and scale up the development and the deployment of clean energy projects. That is why we have brought together this great alliances and we have joined forces to help accelerate this, this fertile decarbonization effort of African nations.